What's up guys? Welcome back to the Shelby Lifestyle. Today we've got the super snack right here. Um, changing it up. So I made a video a couple months back about me trying to change it more into a drag car because it, it's got everything it needs to launch hard off the line. It's got the watts link. It's got all these anti-hop upgrades on it. So it's made to go fast. It's got all the horsepower needed. And if you look back at the normal Super Snake, the 850 horsepower variant, those are running about 10.6 at the quarter mile. And it's not too far off to think this car can't do better. And I'm aiming for it to be in the nines. I think, and I know it can go in the nines. So what I'm planning on doing is the first thing that I was talking about in the previous video. I never did it because I was working on the GT350R and going to the track with that a lot. But I'm going to be focusing more at the drag strip now on. And right now, as you can see, I do have street legal drag radials. They are Mickey T's ET Street SS. And they're pretty good tires. They hook well. You can full throttle this car in second gear, third gear, all the way up. And it'll hook. And depends how warm you get them in first gear and it'll hook well. Launching is pretty difficult. I made a 0-60 to 60 video quite some time back. And nailing that launch takes a lot of time with these kind of tires and it just it doesn't work well because they're 20 inch wheels and if anyone knows drag racing you want a, a tire that's got a lot of sidewall on it so it can actually like hook down and go. So what I've ordered are a pair of 305 45 17s. I might go 315 instead. Uh, just, I want to get a 17 inch wheel and a good drag radial on it. I'm going to stay Mickey T. I know a lot of people actually use the Nitos, the NT05R, I believe it is. Those are nice tires, they're good and all. I just, I've had personal experiences with the Mickey T's and they've been great. So I'm gonna go down that route again and maybe down the road I might switch to maybe Hoosier if those are better. But I'll be getting the ET Street SS, the street legal version of the drag radial just because I drive the car on the street. I'm more of a road racer. I don't go to the drag strip that much. I really haven't gone full on drag racing before. I stick to the racetrack and I'm gonna be changing up. So I'm pretty excited and let's celebrate by doing a burnout. <laughs> This is actually one of the stranger drag strips 
I've attended. Uh, it's not traditionally a drag strip at all. This is a parking lot for a stadium here in San Diego. Weird thing is though, you don't see that many high-end cars here. It's mainly the Japanese um, type. Uh, you do get quite a bit of Mustangs, but no, only a few Shelbys. Uh, there is, I think, two to three GT350s here. Not many Hellcats. You, you thought you'd, you thought you'd see a lot of Hellcats or or Dodge Demons out here, but no. When I do take off the Super Snake, I'm not going against one of those Demons. I got plenty of comments going. Hey, you know, you talk the talk. You know, you need to, you know, show us to what the car can really do. Well, that, that's what I'm planning to do. Well, I'm hoping to get the car as a drag strip really soon. Uh, the new tires should be coming in within a week. And same with the rims. I'll get back to you guys when that happens.